The Communist Party came to power in China in 1949 after winning a 22-year civil war against the forces of the then president Chiang Kai-shek. Chiang Kai-shek and his co-religionists took refuge on the island of Formosa, now Taiwan, where they tried to establish a parallel government with the support from the United States. On October 1, 1949, Mao Zedong proclaimed the People's Republic of China on the mainland. The Chinese Communist Party, however, took over a country in ruins. Only 0.6% of the population worked in the few Chinese industries. In rural areas, food production was insufficient to supply the entire population of approximately 580 million inhabitants. The hunger spread across the country. In 1950, the Chinese government signed a friendship treaty with the Soviet Union and began to implement radical measures to transform the social and economic structure of the country. There was a severe agrarian reform, creating, at the same time, thousands of peasants' cooperatives, and the big companies were nationalized. Inspired by the Soviet experience, in 1953, the Chinese government put into practice its first five-year plan. With the collectivization of the land at the end of 1956, the newly created agricultural cooperatives were now 19% of agricultural production. At that time, banks, large industries and commerce were already nationalized. In 1958, the Chinese government released its second five-year plan, known as the Great Leap Forward. The goal was to make China's industrial and agricultural production grow 75% per year until 1962. Self-sufficient productive units were formed. Each commune was formed by about 20,000 people and they had preset goals to meet. Also, in 1958, millions went to work in construction of highways, factories and cities which contributed to the emergence of small industries in the interior of the country. In the agricultural area, the goals established in the Great Leap Forward were not reached. Due to the precarious flow infrastructure of the production, depletion of natural resources and natural disasters, agricultural production became disorganized and, according to some historians, between 20 million and 30 million people died of hunger and exhaustion during this period. During the same period, political and ideological differences opposed the governments of China and the Soviet Union. The Soviets were opposed to transferring nuclear expertise to the Chinese, who, despite this, tested in 1964 their first atomic bomb and produced the hydrogen bomb in 1967. Another source of disagreement was the police of peaceful coexistence advocated by the president of the USSR, Nikita Khrushchev. This posture emphasized the importance of diplomatic negotiations with the US government while reducing support for national liberation in Africa, Asia, and America. The split between the two communist countries took place in 1960, when the Soviets withdrew their technical advisors from China. The failure of the Great Leap shook the Communist Party. In 1959, Mao Zedong was replaced, but retained influence with the control of the CCP. In 1966, with the support of the Red Guard, formed by 10 million young people who worshipped him, he started the Cultural Revolution. During this revolution, CCP leaders, intellectuals and common people were persecuted, publicly humiliated, sent to re-education camps or killed for allegedly defending bourgeois values. The number of people who died in this process is also controlled controversial, but some experts estimate that approximately 1 million people lost their lives during this movement. The Cultural Revolution disorganized the country's economy. With Mao's death in 1976, power was assumed by Deng Xiaoping, a more moderate CCP leader who had been persecuted during the Cultural Revolution. He initiated reforms that, among other things, allowed the creation of special economic zones governed by capitalist principles and not by the action of the state.